Hey traders, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about plot character function in PyScript, which lets you plot custom characters based on your conditions. For example, on the screen, you can see this indicator which plots this star character whenever the price or high goes above this highest high value and it plots uh, this loading emoji or loading character whenever the price or the low of the price goes below the lowest low in the market and whenever the price is moving between these highest high and highest lows it does not plot anything or any character onto the chart so using the plot character function you can plot custom characters onto the chart in PyScript. now let's go through the code of this indicator to show you how this indicator is working so let me just remove this indicator from the chart and also let me just explain this code line by line so that you would understand how the code is working so we're going to go ahead and start a new indicator and here first we're going to give or name our indicator so with the indicator argument we're giving it indicator title is higher highest highlighting alert conditions with characters and then we want the overlay to be true after that we want to compute the highest high and lowest lows which we can do that using ta.highest and ta.lowest function so we are you getting the highest high using ta.highest and we're giving a period of 20 and we are getting the second last value because the second last value is already determined so we want to use that so we are calculating the ta.highest and ta.lowest so let's go ahead and plot these two onto the chart so if, if we plot this you can see using the plot function we are plotting the ta.highest and ta.lowest so now what we want to do is whenever the price or the high of a price goes above this yellow line this ta.highest or highest high line we want to plot a star and whenever the price or the low goes below this lowest low then we want to plot that loading energy so what we have to do is we have to assign these conditions in our code so we are giving the new high is equal to if high is greater than highest high if high of any panel is greater than highest high then we want to plot our emoji or our character so this returns a boolean and this also returns a boolean in case if the low of any candle is below the lowest low and all there remains is to plot the characters so using the plot character function we are giving it we are plotting the characters for example if new high is true then we want to plot this character and we want to give it a color of green and also if this is true then we want to plot this character if the new low or if the price goes below the low or high lowest low then this condition would be true and if this condition is true we want to plot this character we are giving the color of red and here we are also assigning the location because we want to plot it below bar by default the character will be plotted above bar but in this case we want to plot it below bar so we are assigning it explicitly in our argument if we can also control click on this plot character function to see all the arguments it takes so it takes the series that is the condition and here is the title the character you want to plot the location the color and do we want to offset it by some bars and we can also give it a text and text color do we want to make it editable and what size do we want to plot because there are multiple sizes that are available so you can use any of these sizes and we can give the show last argument any value to show specific number of characters onto the chart so for example if we want to show our character only on the last 40 bars then we're going to we can give it show last argument of 40 value then here we are uh, getting the display argument that is controls where the plots information is displayed and this can also be a mathematical operation most of the times you won't need to use this here how do we want to format our character plotting do you want to format it using the volume using the price or using the percentage so here is our 
detail of formatting argument determines whether a script formats the plot values as prices, as percentages, or as volumes. Because in market, we have all these calculations available. So we can plot or format our data onto the plot based on these arguments. And then there's a precision after the float, how many, how much precise we want to it to be and also we can force the overlay to be true so that it always plots above current chart candle even if in the chart settings manually we have set it to show below the uh, candles if this argument is true it will override our manual setting and it will always display the data above the candles onto the chart so now you can see highest high and higher lows our uh, highest lows are being plotted and we have also defined the plot characters. So we can go ahead and save it. And once we save it, you will see that I'm just update on the chart. And I'm just go ahead and remove this. So you can see now the code is also plotting the stars at candles where the price or the high is going above the highest high and plotting this character where the price is going below the low this candy character so i hope you have understood how the plot character function works if you have any questions please comment down below i would love to answer them also don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video